and uh, I think we Tony, see Tony sitting like a mouse, but uh, if anything leads him, it could only be for me, so but let's join Peter. Thank you, Jimmy. That's it. They're all installed. Server five to two favourite, Bronsbury 92, and Bronsbury very fast out over on the far side, and Bronsbury the early leader over on the far side. Bronsbury very, very fast indeed, and Crime of Passion running very fast. And it's Crime of Passion on the stand side, Bronsbury on the far side with fine edge, Sober almost upsides Crime of Passion now, and Time's Time right there too in the centre of the course, but it's Bronsbury in the lead over on the left of the picture. Bronsbury in the lead from Jonah Chris, Time's Time and Sober. Sober towards the right, Bronsbury towards the left, coming down to the two furlong pole. Bronsbury on the left, Sober on the right. These two disputing it just ahead of time's time. Then comes Jonah Chris. And then Lester Pickett making ground on Far Thatch. It's still Bronsbury in the lead over on the far side. Sober in the centre of the course. Far Thatch is next. They're running down towards the furlong pole. Sober with the marginal advantage now on the near side from Bronsbury over on the far side. It's Sober and David Nichols now as they race into the closing stages. Sober's going to win the King George. and going to win it in great style too. Sober is the winner in fine edges second. And Chelliston Park just gets up to be third on the far side. Far Thatch was fourth. It's going to be a photo maybe for the places, but Sober's won this in tremendous style. Charleston Park, the fast finisher on the far side. In the centre was Fine Edge, and on the near side Far Thatch, and it's a photograph for second, third and fourth places, but there's no doubt about the winner. A brilliant winner too. Sober, owned by Mrs Muriel Hills and Mr David W Chapman, trained by David Chapman at York, written by David Nichols, has won the King George Stakes, and it's a photo for second, third and fourth. Very close indeed between Fine Edge, Charleston Park, and Far Thatch. Thatch. Those are the horses engaged, involved in the photo for second, third and fourth, but no photo needed to show what a champion this filly is. Here's how the Stewart's Cup winner of 1982 won the King George of 1983, reviewed with Julian Wilson. And it really paid off keeping her in training. What a marvellous whirlwind of a race. Bronsbury, as ever, out of the stalls like a tornado. But Tony Ives' arms were pumping after they'd gone two and a half furlongs. And it was just a matter of time before he was eaten up. Sober never ever let him got too far in front. And she's possibly within about a length of him now towards the right of the picture. Jonah Chris with a noseband on the far side. He ran terrifically fast. Fine Edge also on the far rails. Chelliston Park's come from way off the pace in the green and blue colours, only about eighth or ninth now, right at the back of the pitch as we look at them. This is where Sober comes to collar Bronsbury and eats him up very quickly. Jonah Chris is tiring now, but Fine Edge driven through one off the far rails, and look at Chelliston Park weaving her way right on the far wheels. Bronsbury's got to the furlong marker, but now he's done for, and Sober storms to the front, driven out with hands and heels by David Nichols to put up perhaps the best performance of her career. they remember she was second also in the July Cup. A terrific battle for second place, Farfetch coming on this side, Fire it, Fine Edge in the centre, and Chelliston Park closing all the time on the far side. But the winner, a decisive one by two two and a half lengths. Fine Edge looks to be second and Chelliston Park third. What a credit she is to her trainer David Chapman this filly. Brilliant performance this afternoon. And how amply she has justified that very bold decision to keep her in training. She's returned the Nine to four favourite, having been backed at uh, three to one anti post this morning. Still awaiting the outcome of that uh, official outcome of the photo. The fourth successive winning favourite this afternoon. Very unusual sequence for the Goodwood summer meeting.